Layla, how old are you? Where are you located? And what do you do for a living? I'm 31. I live in Miami right now. And I am a retail buyer and a designer. Do you have any children? No children. No children. Would you date a man with children? Uh, honestly, no. <laughs> Not right now. Okay. Describe your dream man, but don't describe his looks. First and foremost, romantic. Like, I really need some romance in my life. I need the flowers. I need the well-thought-out dates. Um, I need the vacations. Um, I need the support. Like, I really want a man that's going to, like, pour into me. I don't need anyone to, like, encourage me to chase my dreams. But, like, it's just cool to have a partner that, like, is down for what you down for. If you're having a like a tough moment where you're like trying to taste your dreams and he's just there for you. That would be like my dream man. What does he have to look like? Uh, you know what? I ain't got no type. Like, <laughs> well, okay, I'm gonna take that back because I'm five six, so I feel like I'm a tall girly. So like, I need him taller than me. Like, even if he has all the accolades, like I'm not sure if I could fully like commit if he's like five five like i'm so sorry like it's an aesthetic thing for me so i need you taller hold on, hold on my love yes at 31 you're saying you're choosing aesthetics over if he's like a decorated man and has everything going for himself financially you're gonna give up that man because of his height oh i hate to say that i hate to say that but like Oh, I don't know. I think it's going to bother me, though. I, I don't know. TBD. TBD. And shout out to Ashley. From what we've been doing tonight, Ashley has been giving pushback. I'll give her that. She will, mm -hmm. like, stop him in attraction. Like, whoa, now. Like, Kendra rarely will do this some of the time, so I'll give her that. So, And this is going to sit here and say hey, TBD to be determined it's like at 31 you really gonna consider looks over character and all that other good stuff that really mean something she said you know what i can't deal with no short i ain't got no type listen that is red flag one through three sorry i'm not sorry any woman that say i ain't got no type she she for everybody you shouldn't you should not take pride in being for everybody I ain't got no type. Bull Jive got a type. <laughs> and the fact of the matter is, Squeegee Cat, I said this before. I want to say all wigs tonight. This woman here has a wig on or of some sort, wherever that is. And yeah. <laughs> where we at in history? Why? And there's some people out there saying, why are men worried about women wearing these wigs? Why y'all, why don't y'all let them? That's part of them being women and being feminine. And, no, it's not. You know, and they say, you know, are men worried too much? Is it that serious? Where we at with this? Because every woman, we are unanimous. It's, if this was a census, it'd be 100%. <laughs> and that's terrifying. Like, that is absolutely terrifying. I, I don't know. I don't know how y'all do it. Like I said, I joke about it. Some of y'all brothers ain't touched y'all woman's scalp in many a moons. <laughs> and I feel for y'all. Not really. That's y'all fault. But yeah, I ain't the wigs and weaves. No. Cause here's the thing, they all about intimacy. You can't even you can't even get down to it. You got all that weave and can't no, you can't grab as far as marriage. Because we're speaking on the terms of marriage. We're not uh it's obvious men are sleep with these women. Well, wig ain't stopping nobody from sleeping with a woman. But no, if, if they yeah. wear wigs, you know, more than they wear their natural hair, if it's if it's 365 days in a year and they're wearing wigs 300 days out the year, right? You know. Are those deal problem. breakers? Can you not marry this woman? Because we had 10 it's women. We had 10 women up here tonight, and every one of them came on the show with a wig on. I believe so. Yes. It's, this is the trend. More cautionary tales coming down the line. Traction alopecia. Clogged pores from having their face beat to the gods all the daggone time. It's documented. I'm going to tell you woman to woman that I don't think that would be the smartest decision. If a man has everything going for him, assuming you want to have a, a child with him, I don't think that would be smart to give that all up because he's not, I don't know, six feet tall. Yeah, I'll receive that. You know? 
Mm -hmm. I say that with love, you know, but again, to each is to each their own, yeah. to all the singles out there, not just you, honey, but to anyone watching, you know, sometimes you'll pass up on a good guy because he's a little bit shorter. But and you like, do you say know, ideal and like my dream. So like if my dream is given six two, like okay. <laughs> okay, your dream is six two. Fair enough. Does does it matter what race he is? Can he be any race? No, or does it doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Okay. All righty. And how much money does he have to make per year? In the six figure club. Like I need to feel secure that like if I decide I want to stop working or my business is having a slow month that like I'm just not worried about money. Like that's a requirement. So at least a hundred thousand. Honestly, honestly, I'm probably two hundred. Two hundred thousand. Okay. What? All righty. And oh. Are you not entertained, folks? Huh? Just, just go ahead and double it. Just go ahead and double it. She said, honey K. She said, you know what? Now I think about it. 200 K. Now that man to go out here and bust his butt to make a hundred K. You know what? Just go ahead and double up on that. 200 K. Quarter meal. And here's the thing. <laughs> We're not saying that I'm going to be honest. I feel like a sister, the way she looks minus her lack of femininity and her and her passive aggression, she appears to be a woman that would be with a guy like this. But what's why ain't she landed this guy if this is what she desires? Because she out here living her best wild life in her 20s and she brutish. She's brutish and she's mannish, no matter how cute she may be. Well, so I don't know. I think we all off base. You can do it, Bonquisha. You gotta believe you can do it. You gotta believe you can do it. You gotta believe you can do it. Don't worry about it. She don't believe you can do it. Don't worry about it. He don't believe you can do it. It don't matter if they don't believe you can do it. You gotta believe you can do it. You gotta think you can do it. You gotta feel like you can do it. You gotta constantly tell yourself. You can do it. 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 And that's the truth. Possible. <laughs> Possible. Okay. They they owe me in the chat. She 31. I I was yeah, so she 30. Uh 200k 31. It's tough. Tough sale. I will I'll retract a little bit. That is a tough sale now. Quarter million dollar guy looking the way she won't and go. Tough sale, sister. It's unfortunate. <laughs> And up to 200,000 and up, yeah. All right, and what are three deal breakers for you right now? Because of the, la the last relationship I just got out of, like having kids, like it's a deal breaker for me, unless you're a multi millionaire and that other lady house is taken care of and she not stressing me out and controlling what's going on in my house. Like, so right now, that's the number one deal breaker. The second is probably insecurity and controlling. Like, I, I'm a Libra, so I'm a free butterfly, and I can't have no man trying to control what I'm doing, when I'm doing. Like, I just can't handle that. Wow. So that's probably my number two. Number three, mm, what's my third deal breaker? Probably being, like, inconsiderate of my feelings. I'm very outspoken, so, like, I'm going to tell you if something's bothering me. And if I do and you make me feel like it's not important or you don't have any efforts into changing, like, I can't. I, I'm, I'm cutting you off. The man that you're with, are you open to 50-50 partnership or does he have to fully provide? You know what? I'm torn because my last two relationships was very much like they were completely providing for me. And obviously that's what I'm accustomed to and that's what I would want. But I'm not opposed to like, let's say I met like a 32-year-old man who is has a, a a clear trajectory to success within his career and right now for like two years he needs a little help but like it's giving fast track to like the promotion to where i'm not gonna have to like i might be open to being a partner in that aspect that has to be a particular man so really off top i really don't want to do 50 50 but if i know for sure like okay 
this man has a trajectory, you know, in the right direction and he just need a little bit of help right now, then maybe I'll consider. Oh, you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Y'all heard it. Y'all heard it. Y'all look at her. <laughs> this woman is beyond arrogant. I don't know if the rest of development, she's 31. She's 31 years old, childless. And I think she still thinks she's 22. And you know what I mean? And the wall, the wall. This is funny. It's funny watching women hit the wall because they don't realize it. Most of they don't know it. They just think, oh, this stuff, I'm gonna be able to do this forever. Oh, guys are and then then we're here. There you go. You want to know why? Because everyone doesn't hit the wall at the same speed and velocity. This sister here, she gonna hit the wall pretty soft but it's still going to end up smashed firm against her face and she's going to have to deal with it someday. And some people just turn around and just wow, straight, and they it hit them all at once. This sister here, she can keep on playing around and adjusting, you know, her standards to Yacht Bay and stuff like that and still get piped down, but that bees about it. That be she too aggressive. I don't know who said it. But that talking with them fingernails and she she uh, she extremely aggressive. Ain't nothing pleasant about this woman. She going just the type of woman that's like, why don't you get me Birkin for my birthday? Why? Why you only got me this Jimmy Choo or whatever? Why? Where? Where the where the Alexander McQueen ninja? This is her. She going she going to chastise you for not loving her the way she wants you to love her with your wallet. Yeah, that's wow. You gotta be making two hundred k. She start getting all demands. You better be doing this. You gotta do. Can't have no and, kids. You know. And don't tell me what to do. She said, "I'm a Libra. I'm a free spirit. You can't be come controlling me. I got to be able to do what I want to do. You're not a wife. You are a fun, sad chick. And, and the dude that sponsors you don't even like your voice. He like you clean. You neat. You you hunch good. And I don't like you. But bye." <laughs> <laughs> like she is she's oh. terrible there you go yes not feminine that's what he and the queen don't understand they can be attractive to most they can be fit but that femininity always seems to elude them so here we go i'm gonna let her land this plane once and for all all right and can you give me one reason why you think you're a single i've been single for about a year now i think right now as i haven't been i haven't been looking because before i got out of this relationship that was a five-year relationship before him i had a three month break and then so basically i was in a relationships for eight years like my basically my whole 20s kind of just been doing my own thing and just getting to know this 30 year old version of myself because i'm definitely not the same woman no more so i that's why i'm single right now i'm not taking no dates serious like i'm going out just to go out like i'm not looking right now do men approach you when you're out you know what? It depends, but I'm going to say mostly no. Like they'll look and you know, whatever, because I know I'm a beautiful woman, but like most men do not approach me. And I'm actually okay with that because it's like most of the time they ain't worth shit anyway. Like, well, we don't want to say that about okay. all men now. We don't That's, wanna... I'm not going to say all of them. You're right. But I. I'm okay with not being approached in person because I just feel like when I'm an energetic match for who I'm supposed to be with, that's when it's going to be. So I don't go out looking for guys to approach me, but yeah. Okay. And um, I usually ask this on the show as well. What is the, I know as women or even as men, we have a dream or idea of what the, the person that we want in our head to approach us, but what type of guys do you attract? Not even into this type of guy, but I always attract this type of man. Do you feel like there's a certain type of guy you attract mm -mm. usually? Mm -mm. That is a good question, though. But yeah, no, I love makeup and I like beat my face, do my hair, whatever. Like I really be looking on 10. So it's like if I feel like guys will can look at me and be like, I can't afford her. I'm not even about to bother her. So I feel like that's very much the energy that I give off when I go out. So I oh. We've talked about this before, and we've told we told men, don't we've told y'all when you see these women and she out with a Michael Kors bag, red bottoms, and her nose up in the air, don't approach her. She ain't worth your time. 
So I like, yeah, these women talking about, you've been seeing a lot of attractive women lately saying how men are not hitting on them in public. These guys are intimidated. They're not approaching us. You know, it's, men, they see the dollar what? signs come coming up off you. Man, it's listen here. Women like this, especially her, if for guys that want to take on this test, it's only one way to approach her, and it, you gotta wait on opportunity. This is not women like this, ain't the kind of women you walk up on talking about, hey, shouty. No, you might it's chance, it's chance encounters. Maybe y'all both at the Louis store together. Y'all, you know, just brush shoulders. You looking at <laughs> you looking at shoes, she looking at shoes. You understand? Like, but you don't approach these women. They un they are unapproachable by design. Then they say they they intimidating. No, no, it just ain't no. You are unapproachable. You walk around, you a whole B word. That's your attitude. Can't nobody approach you unless shoot. A guy jumping out of Rolls Royce can't approach you because you just you all guarded up. I would love to know who the heck hurt this woman because <laughs> she aggressive as heck. This woman would have been alpha widowed. When and she, she said was, it. She said she's in two relationships during her 20s. And that's why I wanted to hit on. I'm glad women say that because she tried to make it seem like I got a low body count. I was with two guys during my, you know, 10 years. They don't talk about, describe this guy. Y'all know how toxic it get. It was some guy. He was sleeping with other women. Tell us about all the lickbacks. That's what they don't talk about. They don't consider that cheating. He cheated on me first. I just got my gig back, you know, 20 times over that 10 years. You know what I mean? This this woman talks so great. She seemed like she about to curse and or cry. What do you think she say? She keep talking with her fingernails, clickety clack, clack, clickety clack. This is this is a headache. And she wants you to pay for this headache. Top price. Go ahead. <laughs> Where we go? I was trying to let her finish, man. Here we go. I can't say it's one. It's like a bold one is going to be the one that approached me. And it's very rare. But I'm saying, yeah, true. And they are bold. What are those type of guys that usually, who usually approach you? Mm. What do those guys look like? And come on now, Malayla. Come on. There's always that one type of guy. You feel like he just got a different face, child. You know, like the dusty ones are, are always bold. So it's like. But what type of dusty? What type of pookie? Is it like the one who works? <laughs> That's so funny. They love pookie. Yeah, the dusty, Look at I'm it. saying what, you know, uh, what type of dusty? You know, it's the type, it's the, oh, it's the one that um that likes attention. The one who, who aspires to be in entertainment. Like, it's the, I want to be a rapper or you know a actor is is that one or it's like the the yt guy who's like a little nerdy and he's not really trying to like talk to me but it's just like oh like you look nice like it's not like a real you know what i mean it's not like a real like i'm trying to talk to you it's just like i'll just say this and then let it you know okay so you're saying like TikTok guys who walk by in slow motion or dance <laughs> Yes. Or slow motion or, you know, or, you know, dance or want to be, you know, some type of influencer, you're saying. I Guys feel like, be yeah. Influencers. Yeah. Because okay. I would say the last time somebody tried to talk to me, I was, I was walking out of my, um, my laser hair removal appointment child. And he was driving down the street and saw me and pulled over, hopped out and was like, oh, you pretty, you know, I'm doing something tonight. Like, come hang out with me, whatever, whatever. We exchanged Instagrams. And of course, he's one of those guys that's like of the entourage of like one popular rapper. And but but he do well, music, too. And that. I just was like, and I'm like, who is you? Huh? She's sitting here talking as if she's somebody. Like, who are you? Oh, my God. I'm, I'm going to be fair here. Listen here. For any of my brothers out there that like to, you know, kind of rage, get on a little bit of red pill raging, this woman will trigger a ninja because she is terrible. She is absolutely freaking insufferable. My goodness. Like I said, who are you? This guy got out his car, talked to you, 
all that and you went and Instagram like, oh, you ain't the lead ninja. You friends are the lead ninja. You ain't, you ain't, you don't qualify. I want the head ninja. Where, where your man's at? The one that always got the microphone. You just in the back playing the drums or, you know, say holding clipboards. That's wicked. And, and shout out to the brother from last night. What was his name? Um, Solomon. Solomon. Shout out to Solomon. And you know, not not to say this is it, but just to paint a scenario, this would be the kind of woman a brother like Solomon would be attracted to, want to you know talk to, and they plan. They don't. It's a game, and this is why I told Solomon last night, and it ain't a game no more. I'm trying to learn how to golf. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Yeah. If you got to deal with some of these women, y'all better off divesting. You ain't, I ain't going to have no smoke for y'all. Yeah, at all. Do not deal. This woman here ain't got nothing for you, but hard time, black pills, headache, stomach ulcers. Leave it alone. Just please leave it alone. Look at her face. She disgusted at everything. She even get disgusted when she talk about the man she desire her. She just, she, she like, I know I ain't going to find him. <laughs> Firing rappers approach you. I was gonna say that as well. He has a mixtape or a CD. Yeah. And you he's looking for you to build him kind of thing. Do you feel like you attract those type of guys too who may want you to build them up because you got stuff going on yourself? No. Okay. Not, no. Cause I really honestly, I really don't be I have this gift <laughs> of being able to read through men immediately. So I don't allow them to waste my time to do none of that. Like I can see straight through you. If you come at me, you talking about, oh, my music video, my this, my that, you're out of here. Like if, if I'm talking to you and you're not telling me that you're a director or above with a corporate job, we don't got nothing else to discuss. Like that's just me. What are two things you think you need to work on about yourself so you can be the best version of you stepping into your new relationship? That's a good question. And I feel like this is maybe like a gift and a curse. Like maybe I could be a little more like forgiving because I'm very quick to like just cut people off or like not really give second chances when it comes to certain things. Oh, my phone about to die. Where my charger at? Um, so I definitely think I'll probably need to work on that. What else? Hmm, that's a good question. Mm hmm. I gotta think on that second one. Let me grab my pants, cause ugh, damn, I want to come on here. I ain't got no pants on. Yeah, so, <laughs> so we'll leave it here. Just give your what? handle. What Stand is your up. handle? <laughs> it's L I V E M A L A Y L A. I'm laughing. And that's it. I got beans and bologna. Yeah. I mean, this was a rough one. This was a rough one. This is how we going to finish it. And I see y'all in the chat. Some of y'all said, like, Mr. Walk said, she's insufferable. I don't know how you could be in a relationship with this woman more than one night. And then you leave the $40 on the dresser. And then you might do it again in two weeks or something. I'm trying to tell you. You got to be tall as Xerxes, just as rich and just as powerful for her to smile at you on a regular. Y'all don't get it. This woman, she's too full of herself. She one of them, them, I don't know what the term is, monosexual. She like herself. You understand? <laughs> and what was she, she saying about a guy's job title? Did she, woman, where you at, Squeegee? Was she talking about like mergers and acquisitions? and? Yeah, all that. Corporate job, CEO, yeah. All that uh, uh, high top end account executives, all that, all that. You know what? She won't stop playing with her. There you go, football junkie. She's a this is a narcissist, Nar straight narcissist. She she dang she on the verge of evil. You hear her tone. She's like, I ain't having it. I dismiss you. You got to be doing this. I was thinking about taking. I was thinking about taking the guy making a hundred k. You know, that's top 1%, but I say, ah, make it a make it a quarter meal. You know, if I'm going to tolerate you, make it a quarter. Because I may not want to work, and you're going to pay my bills, or you won't get no kuda <laughs> And we were saying earlier, I don't recommend y'all, man, talk to this woman. But if y'all do, at absolute best. No bread, no water, just meat. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's yep, it. this is her. If she don't like you enough to get rid of her standards, it ain't worth the 
trouble. It ain't worth the problem. Just straight meat work. Unfortunate. So as far as she goes, we gonna bring the Godfather back out. She thirty one, no kids, and, she, and it's over. It's her attitude. This woman, y'all can say what y'all want. She ain't ugly by no one stretch of the imagination. Y'all can stop. But her attitude, her software is so foo bar. And taking what we got from her, we got to figure out why. And we're going to heavily assume that it's because she was alpha widowed. She was dealing with a guy or two, and she cannot forget them. It is impossible. They got the freshest squeeze. They gave her, y'all know, they gave her all the experiences she wanted. And now it's over. She looking to up, she looking to one up that. And it's impossible. So over the hills. Through the woods, folks. Here we go. Mm. That's unfortunate, mm. man. I keep saying it, and I hate that it's true, but why can't you ever find a fit woman? A fit, attractive woman that's also cooperative and feminine. If they think you heard her, she she said I'm beautiful. She didn't hold no punches. She didn't say I know I look good. She said I am beautiful, and that's why she got that stank attitude. So like every guy, them the guys I was with, they always paid for me. It is what it is. Now she got that stank attitude when she hit that wall. When she hit that wall. She the tears, the crocodile tears, she gonna cry when she say, Yeah, the dusties always approach me. You know, and not again a bold well to do guy will approach me. The the day she realized that that had stopped after she goes months without any validation from guys that she deems desirable, that's when that wall gonna be firm against her face. And she's gonna be like, you know what? I I'll I'll settle. I'll settle for a guy making six figures. <laughs> Because the deal is, she'll still be able to sleep with these guys. For some women like her, the walls come, the wall for her will be the point in time where men stop lying to her, right? Mm -hmm. She's at the oh. point now where these men coming in, you know, they lying, talking about, I'm doing well, I got a house, I, I don't have a girl, right? And they're married. She's going to get to a point where these married men are going to start approaching her. Yes, I am married. Here's the deal. And that's the wall for her. That's going to yep. be her options. Here's my card. Call me when it's time. <laughs> that's it. That's, that's it. it. That is it. That's one thing. Like there's it's it's levels to this thing, man. You know, there's there's groups of men and women that know what it feels like to be desired by the opposite sex, and then there's groups that don't get the same attention. We talk about it on with the Kendra with our uh, single by choices. We got pretty privilege, and we're going to call it handsome privilege. And we've seen it on Kendra. Kendra had that one brother up there, you know, that looked the way that most women describe when they're talking about the desirable guy. And Kendra was all sweet and smiles. People get treated different. We got to acknowledge that. And this sister here, she know what she got. She ain't ugly, but she's a B word. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> 